Hi, this is Ishara, and I'm cooking a vegetarian breakfast frittata, along with roasted potatoes on the side, vegetarian sausage, and biscuits. So what I have out here is some spinach, because you can make a frittata out of just about anything that you have in the refrigerator. So here's some spinach I've chopped up. I've got some tomato, bell pepper, and onion. That is one half onion, one half of a bell pepper, and uh, one tomato. Some leftover homemade salsa to give it some spice. And my eggs that I scrambled are here. Now I'm making this out of six eggs, but that is because I'm going to eat half of it today and half of it for breakfast tomorrow. So I've, I've scrambled my six eggs, add a little water to it to make it a soft scramble. And I've got my seasonings lined up here. So what I decided to do is put a little bit of potato in the skillet, to just put a little bit of potato in the frittata, just about two tablespoons, and it's cooking in vegetable oil. I'm going to go ahead and put my vegetarian sausage on another eye, cooking on low while I'm preparing the rest of this meal. So just two sausages there. And I'm going to go ahead and prepare what I need for my uh, roasted potato. So for the roasted potatoes, you need olive oil, preferably about a fourth of a cup for the amount that I'm doing. I'm only cooking one potato, and I'm using a golden potato, by the way, which is a softer potato. I'm going to use one tablespoon of basil. One tablespoon of oregano. And this is a mix. This has onion, bell pepper, fennel, oregano, garlic, basil, chili peppers, parsley, thyme, margarine, and celery flakes in it. This is actually a pizza seasoning mix. It's got a lot of the other seasonings that I want, so I'm going to do a tablespoon of this pizza seasoning. And then some red pepper flakes. About about a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. So into that I'm pouring the potatoes so they can get nice and soaked. Mine are spiny diced, small diced pieces so that they'll cook more quickly in the oven. And then we're going to pour them into a a glass pan while we let them just get coated nicely with the oil. This needs to go in the oven pretty quickly because potatoes take a long time to cook. But in the pan, I'm just going to turn them over Turn them over so that all of the potato pieces get coated with the oil. There we go. Sticking this in the oven uncovered. Got the oven at 350. Got my sausage cooking at low, and I'm about to add my onion. Put it to top. I'm going to cook the onion for a little while. Then we're going to cook the bell pepper for a little while. Turn this heat up to medium. Okay, 
for the onion. And I'm using a cast iron skillet. I like to cook in cast iron. It cleans easy. I've got a lid that I'm going to be putting on top of this cast iron skillet when it's time to let the frittata cook uh, for a little while. Frittatas, you have to have a lid on the skillet. So that's coming on. I'm just letting that cook a little bit. Spinach does not need a lot of time, so it's going to go in later. I'm going to go ahead and add the bell pepper. Bell pepper needs a little time to soften up. There we go. Pour it on top of all the ingredients. Put the top on. And turn it down to three and a half. Because you don't want to burn the bottom. Now the idea of a minute for Tata is to boil the top. It is possible to cook completely on the stove. But you want to check it and see if the top is almost set because as soon as it gets to the point where it's almost set, we're going to put it in the oven on broil. So I'm going to go ahead and take the roast potatoes out of the oven to make room for the frittata. This is another good reason to use the cast iron skillet. Everything's done. Shot up this plate. Frittata, roasted potato, biscuits, veggie sausage. All right. Now I'm going to eat. Thanks for joining me. Bye bye.